So guys, I can tell now that it's time for some fertilizer in the garden. The starts that we put in, many of them that are gonna produce some type of veggie that flowers beforehand is starting to flower. You can see this on the cucumber. You can see this on the pepper plant. You can see this on the tomatoes and you can see it on the zucchini. So there's four different veggies here that are gonna flower before they fruit. There's other things here, as you can see, like this sprouting broccoli. It's not gonna have flowers before it produces broccoli. It'll have flowers after it produces broccoli, but you can see it's past its tertiary leaves. It's clearly got an established root system and it's ready for fertilizer as well. So, based on what we've shown you with the flowers that are setting for a lot of the veg, like tomato and zucchini and cucumber and pepper, they're flowering, they're getting ready to fruit. They definitely need, would do well and they'll do better production if they have a shot of fertilizer and the greens are gonna wanna produce more. So again, once they've got a good tertiary leaf system, those solar panels are out, then let's deliver some love to the roots as well. I've got a simple four ingredient organic recipe for fertilizer with all the ingredients here. I've got a scoop to measure it out. It's gonna be four parts of this, one part, one part, and one part. I'll tell you what the parts are in a moment. I've got a bin to stir it up in. It's gonna be a bit dusty and powdery, so you don't wanna do it indoors. That's the bin I'll stir it up in. It's bigger than what I need. And then a container with a lid, so that if I don't use it all at once, I can store it. And then I've got a watering can to just deliver that love of fertilizer right to the root systems right away. So I'll just tell you what I have here so that you know what it is that we're up to. So when you look at a bag of fertilizer, commercial fertilizer in a store, it'll always have three digits, three digits. They stand for N and P and K, which are off the table of elements. N is the nitrogen. That's gonna add things that are green and leafy so your plants can get solar panels and suck in energy. That's our alfalfa meal. Our recipe is gonna be four parts alfalfa meal to one part of all the others. So I'm gonna put two parts in now and then two parts in later so it's easier to blend. So that's the N, that's the green. Then you go to the P, the second number in fertilizer. And this case, it's gonna be derived from bone meal which is phosphorus, which helps the roots establish so it can take in energy and really get strong. So that's one part of that. I got a little bit of this, so I'm gonna put this in next. The third number in your fertilizer recipe is called a K, and in this case, our K is kelp meal. It's gonna deliver, deliver potassium, and the potassium is gonna help the plant produce flowers and fruit, or pr produce. So the fruit, or what you're actually gonna put in your body and eat and enjoy, is from the K. And then the fourth and final ingredient that's in here is not on a fertilizer label because we've done the N and the P and the K. It's lime and lime's just gonna help make sure that the soil is moving towards the neutral side of things rather than acidify. So there's the lime. So we got the N and the P and the K in there. Now I'm gonna add the final two scoops to make up for the four of alfalfa meal. And then it's all together and you might be able to tell even on the camera that there's, you know, a little bit of dust and powder. It's not crazy if you're outside and not blowing around. Gonna do a little bit of stir up of that. And once it's all stirred up, I'm just gonna put it in this little bucket with a lid and then I can put it away to store it. But first I'm gonna deliver some to some of the plants. So we've got all the ingredients stirred up now and I'm just gonna pour them into this bucket, which should be just the right size for the recipe I did. And my estimate is this size of a pail that I've put here together when I lift it up. Oh, it's probably about four or five kilos. That'll be enough fertilizer for this entire season. I'll just deliver it once to each of the plants. Depending on their age, it'll be at different times. And that'll be enough for the whole season of backyard abundance for this entire three bed garden. That's all we're gonna need. So I'll just show you putting it down a little bit and that'll be it for this part. So in this case here, we've got uh, some sprouting broccoli and some tatsoi growing up and some chard. I would just put a little bit of that around these little guys and a little bit down the middle where the drip line is going to push the energy ultimately, but obviously the drip line alone is not going to get that energy there. So then I'm just gathering my watering can and just making sure that that fertilizer is going to start to get into the soil and ultimately the roots to nourish the plant. If you've done that, maybe a bigger handful than what I've done around something like the zucchini or the tomato that are larger plants, you'll have done everything you need. Let's just do one more plant, okay? So I think that right now this zucchini plant, which does have a bunch of flowers growing on it, and a little tiny zucchini, just a bit smaller than my finger going here, it's probably the largest plant in the garden. So you're just looking to get a bit of that fertilizer powder around the perimeter of the plant. That was a handful. 
get some water on that stuff so that it's going to push down to the root system. And here on, we'll just continue drip watering when we do irrigate. And that, that's just going to slowly deliver over the growing life of this plant all the nutrition it needs to have an amazing harvest. There you go. We've done fertilizer, guys. And remember, guys, regarding fertilizer, there's always hard ways and easy ways to do almost everything in gardening and growing food for yourself. So if buying all these different ingredients from a garden center and mixing up your fertilizer seems like a daunting task, don't be overwhelmed. Just buy a sack of organic fertilizer that's balanced in the N and the P and the K and put that down. One small sack, probably 5K, 10 at the most, is gonna do far more than you need for the whole season. So it's not gonna be expensive and you don't have to do any mixing or buy a whole bunch of ingredients. So don't be intimidated. Just find an easy way to do it. It's all gonna work.